sounds of squeaking tracks riding across a cobblestone road. This World War II Sherman tank moves into position as the crowd looks on with excitement to see what will happen next. But for one of the members in the crowd, his fascination with these tanks goes a little bit further than normal. What happened previously before the vehicles arrived here is uh, there's an entire weekend spent with veterans, uh, guys who own military vehicles, stuff like that. Uh, and actually what they do precisely, well, besides having fun with it, they try to recommemorate the, the happenings of World War II. And the story here in Mons, it appeared to be the first liberated Belgian city during World War II. Tanks in Town is the only commemoration of its kind in the world, remembering the liberation of the city of Mons with a parade of World War II vehicles. Nico, who is usually a reenactor at these events, decided to take this year off and be a tour guide for his friend. As the tanks continue to roll through town, Nico continues to share his knowledge with those around him. I do appreciate the efforts of all the, the volunteers, all the people, everyone involved because of what they do. So the, the memories of, of, of what those men in front of us, the veterans, ever 70 years ago did for us. What we are trying here is to, to prevent, to divide from, from, from these things to happen again in Europe, in America, in countries to get, to get a more united feeling between people all over the world, so it will never happen again. Army Sergeant Vincent Pettigrew, Belgium.